morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. In the name of Jesus, we have a victory. Tell me who can go before us when we call on that great name. Jesus, Jesus, we have the victory. In the name of Jesus, we have the victory. God, we thank you. God, we bless you. God, we worship you and God, we adore you. In the name of Jesus, perfect in all of your ways. There is none like you. God, we rose up this morning to pray for your people, to pray with their concerns, Lord God, and declare and decree that they are victorious in the name of Jesus. Good morning, good morning. Good morning to everyone as you come in. Good morning. As you come in, if you can share your prayer request, if you have one in the comment box, and we will pray concerning it. As you come in, you can share in the comment box. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Good morning to everyone. We do have the victory. In the name of Jesus. This is the last watch hour of the morning. And we got up not only, not only to establish the course of our day, but to declare the promises of God. The promises that God has made unto his people. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. All of the promises that God has written in his word belong to us. And we're up this morning to declare that not just over ourselves because we're not selfish, but to declare that over the lives of our families and to declare that over the lives of those we come in contact with. We want everybody to know the God that we know and to worship the God that we know. Because he is good, because he is merciful, and because he is kind, we want them to know about him too. The word of God declares, thou shalt make thy prayer unto him, and he shall hear thee. He hears us every time we open our mouths. That's a promise. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee. And the light shall shine upon thy ways. As you come in and you want to share your prayer requests, you can leave your prayer requests in the comment box, and we're going to go before the Lord concerning it. The Lord spoke to us as well as he did to Daniel, as I continue to share with you and remind you every morning, fear not. Fear not from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand and to chasten thyself, chasten thyself before thy God. Thy words were heard. And the Lord says that I have come for your words. Ah, uh, I feel right there to encourage you that the words that you put out there unto God, the words that you spoke unto the Lord, he heard you and he hears us even now. Oh, I hear the Lord declaring to be careful what you put on the altar. Be careful what you put on the altar in your words because he hears you. He is a very present, ever present God who hears and understands everything that we say. There is an old bridegroom hymn that we used to sing years ago. I haven't heard it sung much, but it says, the day of redemption is near. 
so near. Men's hearts are failing for fear. Be filled with the spirit. Your lamps trimmed and clear. Look up, Paya, for your redemption is near. I want you to notice a phrase in that song that stood out to me and that tugs on my men's hearts are failing because of fear. The writer of this song was the first presiding bishop of the Pentecostal Assemblies of the World in 1925. We don't know the history behind this song or behind the writing of this song, but we can say this, that the heart of the writer of the song was concerned about the heart, not just the spiritual heart, but concerned about the muscular, the muscular organ of a man. That's the actual heart. Was concerned about the muscular organ as well as the disposition of man. The way the reason we know that he's concerned about the disposition of man because he spoke of man's heart being changed because of fear. He's concerned about his thoughts and he's concerned about the thoughts of the man were not on this earth, but his affections be set towards the day when he would receive his resurrected body. That's a difficult thing to talk about when we talk about leaving here. We all want to see the Lord, but Nobody is in a hurry to leave, especially not knowing the way. But I want to encourage you this morning, and we're going to pray. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. But the song says that men's hearts were failing for fear. I don't believe that this was a reverential fear towards God. I believe that. Bishop Haywood was referring to the type of fear that was anxious concern, the feeling of unexpected danger. Revelations chapter 18 speaks to the fear of her torment, which is has its effect, or its effect brings on the actual weakening of the physical heart muscle. The Bible declares, 1 John, that fear hath torment. But Jeremiah wrote, For thus saith the Lord, We have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. The Bible declares again, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love and of a sound mind. Lord spoke to me this morning concerning this text. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. The psalmist says he shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. Come on, go, be, go with me to the throne of grace. Father, in the name of Jesus, great is your faithfulness unto us. Morning by morning, God, new mercies we see. Thank you, Lord God, because we're not riding on the mercy of yesterday. We're not even riding on the long suffering of yesterday. But God, daily, daily you load us with benefits 
Long suffering is a benefit. Mercy is a benefit. Grace is a benefit. Your strength is a benefit. Thank you, dear God, that we got up this morning in our right mind with the activities of our limbs in the name of Jesus. And God, we say thank you. We acknowledge you that you are the God of all flesh. Is there anything, is there anything too hard for you? There is nothing too hard for you. We declare that at the beginning of this prayer, there is nothing too hard for you. And there is nothing impossible for you. God, we acknowledge you as the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. He who was dead, but now is alive forevermore. God, we call upon you, Jehovah Rapha, the God that healeth thee. We call upon you, Jehovah Shama. God, you are here. You are a very present help in the time of trouble. Oh God, but not only are these times of trouble, but they are times of your presence. God, you said that you would never leave us and that you would never forsake us. And here you are, God, you are still with us. Thank you for being a very present God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for being a forgiving God, ever living to make intercession for us. God, forgive us of our sins. Hear our cry and heal our land. Your word says, for we know not that the whole creation groaneth. Adasa groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. God, the earth is crying. Oh God, the earth is crying. Just as well as we are crying in our spirits concerning what is going on, God, the earth is crying out too. Oh God, it reminds me of Cain and Abel. The blood of his brother was crying out from the ground, crying out for what had happened and crying out for what was going on and crying out for the results of where he was or for the reason to where he was. And God, the earth groaneth and the earth is crying out. It's crying out, Lord God, not just the people, but the land itself, God, is crying out, Lord God, not just for where it is, but for what we have done to nature. In the name of Jesus, it's crying out for transition. It's crying out for change. Our land is groaning for transition. The atmosphere, God, has been affected. God, we're praying in the name of Jesus for the atmosphere. God, the cry of the land and the people of the land is in our ears. Forgive our sins. Oh, God. Hallelujah. And heal our land. I heard you say, God, that the knee must bow. God, we're bowing. We're bowing not just physically, but we're bowing, Lord God, in our hearts. And I heard you, Lord God, when you say to humble yourselves and turn. Turn, turn, turn. Turn, turn back to God. Turn back to the mind of God. Turn back to the ways of God. Turn back to the attention of God. Turn back in the direction of God. Turn, a turn. I hear the song say, turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full into his glorious face and the things on earth. Yeah, that's why you're telling us to turn. Because when we turn, God, the things on earth will look strangely dim. Dear God, turn our hearts upon you. 
turn not only our hearts, but turn, Lord God, our companions. Etasha, if they are not saved, God, turn them. Open their eyes so that they may see in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, that if they cannot hear when they are awake, God, speak to them in dreams while they're asleep. Get their attention in the name of Jesus. Speak and turn our children. Desha, in the name of Jesus. Speak and turn our friends. Those, Lord God, that we have been able to influence in the name of Jesus concerning you, that have not made a decision for you yet. Turn their hearts in the name of Jesus. Turn them to you. Oh God, let them be able to see you. Let them not, Lord God, see and feel only anger, but let them see you in this time and in this season. Turn them unto you. Save them, God. Save God in the name of Jesus. Turn our neighbors, turn our co workers, turn the onlookers, turn the bypassers in the name of Jesus. Turn and we shall be turned in the name of Jesus. Turn us upside down, turn us inside out, turn our attention upon you. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, turn us, oh God, hallelujah, hallelujah, malakuya damasa, hallelujah, our atmosphere is groaning, and God is responsible. Responding. The atmosphere is groaning and it's responding. It's responding, God, to what we have done. And now, Lord God, oh God, it's reacting on us. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, the troposphere, where our weather is fighting back because of abuse, in the name of Jesus, because of the pollutants and things that we have put in the air. Now, God, even our bodies are paying for it. Oh God, the stratosphere that contains much of the ozone layer. God, we have worked on it, which was to be for our protection. It's fighting back in the name of Jesus. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. And God, we come before you this morning. Oh God, asking you to turn our our atmosphere. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, in turn, God, man's physical heart is failing. The physical muscle is failing because of the condition of the physical atmosphere. Oh God, and because of sin in the name of Jesus, the physical heart is experienced. It's attacking itself. Oh God, in this season, Season. Oh God, the heart is failing, not just because of, 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 of stress and worry and hurt, Lord God, and anger, but it's failing, Lord God, it's stroking in the name of Jesus. Allah, I pray this morning, I rebuke that stroke in the name of Yishano Sota. You shall not die, but you shall live and declare the glory of God. I rebuke, Lord God, the onset feelings of a heart attack in the name of Jesus. Oh God, turn it. Turn it in the name of Jesus. Oh God, the heart that is being affected because of pneumonia and because of flu symptoms. Oh God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus. I hear you, Janae. Janae Oliver Scott in the name of Jesus. Heal her body in the name of Jesus. Oh God, heal it, Lord. 
cord, both of our lungs. Oh God, I pray for those today, our loved ones that are experiencing pneumonia and experiencing, Lord God, the feelings of the flu and experiencing, Lord God, pressure in their chest. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Oh God, this name just came to my heart, Sister Tanya. I'm praying for your husband in the name of Jesus, Sister Tanya Baines. I'm praying, Lord God, healing in the name of Jesus from the top of his head to the sole of his feet. Oh God, ease his pain in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we are stressing out. We are frustrated. We are doubting and we are bringing about worry and anxiety. Oh God, I hear the Lord saying, stop now. Hit Kasha. Oh God, put your cares and your concerns in his hands. In the name of Jesus, because he cares for you. Satan, the Lord God rebuke you. Oh God, we will calm down and we will put our trust in God again. In the name of Jesus, we'll put our trust in you over and over and over and over again. We'll trust you today. When we doubt, we'll turn around and trust you again. Oh God, the moment that we fear, we'll turn around and trust you again. Oh God, and we will declare that the same God, the same God of the Old Testament, the same God of our forefathers, in the name of Jesus, is the same God of today. Oh God, You are not a God of yesterday and not a God of today. You are not a respecter of persons, but God, you are our God in the name of Jesus. Deuteronomy says, if you are the God, the same God that we serve back then, if you are a God that's able to shut up the heaven, that there be no rain, you are the same God of the atmosphere today. The same God that says to the snow in the book of Job, be thou on the earth likewise to the small rain and to the great rain of his strength. The same God back then is the same God right now that will speak to the atmosphere. In the name of Jesus, the same God that in Jeremiah said, when he uttereth his voice, there is the multitude of waters in the earth or in the heavens, and he causes the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth. He maketh lightnings with rain and bringeth forth the wind out of their treasures. The same God that rebukes winds is the same God that's able to turn the unclean environment just by a word. God speak to the atmosphere. Haya and cause it, Lord God, to come back in line with what you first determined that it should be and feel like. Lord, speak not only a shift in our natural atmosphere, that it comes in line with our with your orders. But God, I ask you in the name of Jesus, the shift the atmosphere in our homes, in the name of Jesus, shift the atmosphere fear in our marriages in the name of Jesus shift the atmosphere oh God on our jobs where there is cussing and fussing in the name of Jesus let us be Lord God uh, a symbol of peace a symbol Lord God of lack of worry in the name of Jesus let them just by the sight of us God let it bring peace in our environment in the name of Jesus. I reminded of the disciples that where they went and just the shadow of them changed things. It changed the illness of a body. Oh God, let that be the same for our presence in the name of Jesus. Wherever we go, let our shadow in the name of Jesus bring about peace. Let it bring hope. Let it come 
down in the name of Jesus. Our atmosphere, our environment, change the atmosphere of our minds in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we operate with you in the shift, the shift of the change of the atmosphere. Oh God, not just the tangible, but Lord God, the spiritual atmosphere. And we declare from the book of Psalms, we declare in thy presence is the fullness of joy. At thy right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. We declare from the book of Psalms, blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. They shall walk, O oh Lord, in the, in the light of thy countenance. In the name shall they rejoice all the day. And in thy righteousness shall they be exalted. We declare from Psalms, God, oh God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise even with my glory. In everything, God, we will give thanks in the atmosphere. In everything, God, we will bless you at all times. Oh God, and your praises shall continually be in our mouth. Thank you, God. Bless you, God. We will say of the Lord that you are our refuge in the name of Jesus. Right now, now we will declare, uh, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. God, this you've shown us your hand before in our own personal lives, God. You've done some things that we could not declare that anybody did it but you. And now, God, we declare it in the earth. We throw our minds back in the name of Jesus. And we remind ourselves of what you've already done. And if you did it before, yes, shout out my soul. You'll do it again. In the name of Jesus, we put our trust in you. We will not be afraid. In the name of Jesus, I speak peace. Peace, Lord God, this morning. In the name of Jesus, peace that surpasses all understanding. Now, God, we believe in you. God, we believe in your ability to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think. Now we begin to say thank you. Now we begin to praise you. Now we begin to glorify you. Now we begin, Lord, God to say, God, we appreciate you. And God, we praise you. Praise you for what you have done and what you will do. Thank you for hearing our petition. Thank you, Lord God. Our request is laid before you. Now, God, we're asking in the name of Jesus to allow your will be done. Allow there to be change and allow there to be transition. And God, we say thank you. God, we say thank you. God, we say thank you. And everybody that's on the line this morning, God, work a miracle in their lives. Do something, Lord God, that they never expected in the name of Jesus. Oh God, you heard the prayer that they have laid before you in the name of Jesus. Oh God, acknowledge their prayer. Oh God, it is your will that they prosper and be in health in the name of Jesus as their soul prospers. Prosper their soul in the name of Jesus. And I declare and decree that it shall be well. 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 In the name of Jesus. Oh God, and we say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you in the name of Jesus. Oh God, now may the peace of God that passes all understanding keep your heart, Tisha. Keep your heart and your mind. Hallelujah. In Christ Jesus, turn your eyes upon him. Turn your eyes upon God. Turn your eyes in his word and allow the things that are going on on earth to grow strangely dim. Look up for your redemption is near. May God bless you. May God keep you. 
May God smile upon you and God every prayer request. Hallelujah. That has been noted in these comments. God, I ask you in the name of Jesus to do it. Get shut up. In Jesus' name. Have a wonderful rest of your morning. God bless you. In the name of Jesus.